yeah, I'm not going to bother wasting my breath considering I'm just going to wind up scrapping a lot until I actually finish really off. I've lost any Corax in this game so far. I don't plan on doing such a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna... I, I need more missiles. Thanks. Come on. But full health. Thank you. Okay. So. With that out of the way, um, yeah. If I didn't explain it in depth, in the last video, Ridley's fight is largely uh, randomized, um, and it took me quite the amount of attempts, but they were all probably somewhere between the amount of times that I faced Yakuza and uh, Nightmare, but they were all much shorter due to the fact that, uh, you know, Ridley... Uh, well, I don't know if he has less HP or if the wave beam just does infinitely more damage. Because it's the first boss where the where your beam actually goes through the um, the boss. Anyhow, um, and this is sort of a little uh, Easter egg, I guess. Um, the reason that Ridley gives the screw attack, I think, even though he is he like. Uh, uh, security robot box have has not, have uh, have nothing to do with the weapon in in, uh, in question. So hold on one second. Um, I think the reason is that uh, in the original Metroid, maybe maybe Super. I can't remember. Um, I one of those two maybe. If not, then. Um, Definitely zero mission. Ridley keeps... Hold on. Ridley, um, you get the screw attack after beating Ridley. I know it's true for zero mission. I don't know about the original or... Uh, or uh, Super. Because I forget about Super and I haven't played far enough into the original to get anywhere close to there. Because the original is a humongous pain in the dick to play. Yeah, the screw attack is the last final, uh, the last permanent power up in the game, so you can pretty much plow through everything now. Ava, enemies, the the undefeatable rippers, uh, which are those floating turtle things that we just bypassed from uh, finishing that sector, and um, just because I'm missing one power bomb, I'll just do that. Yeah. Had a quick save, and now I get to summarize, uh, um, plot points. Uh, the Galactic Federation thinks that they can control the X-Parasite. Samus says no, and Adam is complying, um, but Samus mentions Adam, and it turns out, uh, it, uh she mentions Adam in her protest, and it turns out that Lo and behold, this computer is the brain of Adam, whose memories have suddenly been awakened. And now, instead of just uh, self-destructing the ship with all the X on it, um, he suggests to uh, exterminate the X parasites on the whole, since their home is planet SR388, uh, to crash biologic space labs into... Uh, the planet. See, I don't. I, I'm not sure how. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if a space station of that size would be able to wipe out an, an entire planet, but I suppose if it's plausible that, you know, the dinosaurs... Wait, is it the last save point? No. That the, uh, the dinosaurs went extinct from a meteorite, uh, crashing onto Earth. Um, or that's one of the theories. The other one is that just, like, Carnivores killed all the herbivores, and then the carnivores died out because they had no more food. Something. Anyhow, giant space rocks and stuff, but I suppose it's plausible that it would create uh, enough disturbance in the atmosphere to uh, wipe out uh, an entire planet's uh, ecosystem. Now, um... Ridley is definitely considered the, the final boss for this run, because, uh, yeah, the SAX is really not much of a threat. Um, you can freeze her if you shoot missiles at her, but I'm not going to do that. And yeah, she's fairly a, a pushover. And then she transforms into this uh, monstrous thing. It kind of reminds me of uh, The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, um, which is fairly cool. It's, it Not being able to keep a stable form, I guess, um, I don't really know where that monstrous thing kind of comes from and uh, explained from in the game, but I guess it's like the X had too much power and too much, uh, you know, equipment in its hands to really hold that form after being weakened so much. So that was like Samus losing her power suit. But also keep in mind that I suppose that that particular X might have uh, so much other DNA in it from, you know, being so far around um, the universe. Anyhow, with all that done... Oops. Now we got to get the hell off the ship. Um, navigation rooms, you can't stop in. Um, you can stop in that recharge room, though, even though it does nothing. Um, yeah, I forgot which way to go for a second. Save room's not up, obviously. And all that lays before us is the, uh, final little boss challenge. Which is the Omega Metroid here. But, it's debatable as to whether the X was drawn here just because, you know, a Metroid and X's and Metroid are mortal enemies, or if it was like a, a gaining, in its intelligence, gaining the respect for Samus. And I. Totally almost got killed there. That would have been embarrassing. Yes, okay. And that's sort of all she wrote. So it's just saying, it's being all uh, philosophical now. That was Adam, and eventually someone will understand, I'm sure, um, questioning how the Omega Metroid uh, didn't destroy the ship, and it was the Eticum to Decorus. I'm still not sure how exactly to pronounce that, but anyhow, that's Metroid Fusion. I like Samus' design in this game more than I do in uh, Zero Mission. I don't know, maybe I... It just, in Zero Mission she looked kind of odd. But whatever. Um, anyhow, that's it for Fusion. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll, I'm sure I'll figure out something else to play sometime soon because I need to. Alright. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, take care.